Hello, Tianwei. It's so nice to talk to you again. What a pleasure to see you, sir. Well, as you said, the year 2019 marks the 40th anniversary of diplomatic relations between China and the United States. I think there is still very strong and widespread support among the American people for a better and more stable China-U.S. relationship. All these challenges will require cooperation and coordination among the members of the international community, no matter they are big or small. He was a member. He was a member. He was a member. It's not an issue of human rights or democracy. It's an issue of national sovereignty and independence. This is always a challenge. This is never easy. have made friends, a lot of friends with the Chinese people, and they are having a good time in China. So I don't think it's so difficult for them. But at the same time, there are always maybe a small number of people. I'm doing my small part for my country and my people and for the relation between China and the United States. And since the new year is coming, let me wish my country and my people even greater success and wish everybody in Beijing and elsewhere in the country the best of luck. I know we in China, we are always hard working people. We are at a very critical moment for our relation, relation between China and the United States. And in a way, I think we can say it's unprecedented since Dr. Henry Kissinger's visit almost half a century ago. Very few people, I think nobody in the world knew anything about the new virus. But as soon as we had these cases, we reported to the World Health Organization. Then on January the 12th, as soon as we discovered the genome sequence of this virus, we shared it with the WHO and the international community. So everything was done very quickly. Of course.
when we first reported to the WHO, when we first share all this information, whatever we learn with the international community, I think you still have a single digit number of cases here in the United States. So the Hong Kong SAR government decided that if the election goes as planned, the risk, the danger of the pandemic spreading even wider will be very serious. And actually, Hong Kong should have enacted its own law for national security. So the absence of Hong Kong's own law about national security has led to a lot of serious consequences. People see rising violence in Hong Kong. China has a very small amount of nuclear weapons. It's not at the same level. It's, we are by far behind US and Russia. Well, yes, the honesty. Well, yes, the honesty. Well, yes, the honesty. So people are living in a much safer environment, and people can really enjoy good life there. This is happening to all the people there without any distinction between the ethnic groups. As of the law. As of the law. As of the law. And another example would be the current pandemic. I don't think any country can really handle this pandemic all by itself. Of course, now we are faced with somehow different situations in various countries because conditions vary in different countries. We have to help each other. We have to make sure that the pandemic is contained and hopefully overcome and effective vaccine is developed. Now I'm here representing my head of state and my government, not any particular individual. So we believe our future lies in the joint efforts to build such a global community, not to divide the world into different camps. Though without it is done. Though without it is done. Though without it is done.